kids are definitely becoming more sedentary. They're becoming more inactive. And it's because of why would I want to go outside when I can play my Xbox and it's just like being outside. Everything looks so real and it's so much more fun when I can play like that instead of going out and hitting baseball or playing basketball. And it's really unfortunate. It's something that with technology growing, it's going to get worse and worse and worse unless we start to do something about it now. It's a huge thing because where are they getting most of their activity? They're getting it at school. And then when they get home, if their parents don't follow that up, then they're not going to follow it up. If the parents aren't motivating them to go play ball, like to get into organized sports, such as hockey, such as softball, such as soccer, then they're not going to be active at home. Try to role model as much as I can. As I said, I uh, role model with my own kids. I like to play hockey and golf and baseball and, and football and all those things, and I try to take my kids out to do that. I do that with my students as well. If I get involved in the gym class and they see that I'm being active as an adult, hopefully they're going to want to do the same things when they're on their own time. Every kid should be getting phys ed every day for at least 40 minutes. That's the only way we're going to promote them to be active. By giving them 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there and grade 7s and 8s who are going out at recess and all they want to do is just talk and stand still, that's not promoting being active. I'm always really amazed at the girls who have been really active all through elementary school and in high school they don't try out for a team in grade 9 and once they don't try out in grade 9 then they believe that they're not good enough to try out ever again. I think parents have a great deal of influence if they're involved in their children's lives, if they are a role model and they themselves are active, often the rest of the family will also be active. I hope that first and foremost I'm a role model for them. I try to find ways that they can be successful and continue to be positive with them. The government talks about having students active, having to make healthy choices, but when it comes down to school level or the grassroots level, I don't think there are changes that are occurring. And a perfect example of that is that physical education is mandatory only in grade nine. It used to be mandatory in all grades, and now many students take one year of it, and that's the last time they ever take it. I feel that most college students aren't active enough in school just mainly due to the fact that they're under a lot of stress. They are forced with extreme amounts of course load work as well as study time. It seems to interfere with uh, pretty much everything and therefore just they get demotivated with regards to personal exercise and their training. I feel that the college offers a great deal of services to the students of Humber, uh, mainly with regards to athletics, so they offer uh, varsity sports, they offer uh, group exercise classes, personal training services, they offer uh, pretty much health counseling and nutritional counseling, and therefore that just gives the students a better diversity of health and wellness throughout the community. I feel that the community along with uh, teachers and staff advisors would probably be the best means of administering, I guess, proper motivational techniques, uh, especially within their coursework. So having a course on wellness or nutrition given throughout, I guess, every program would probably be a great um, advancement for the students here at Humber College or even other colleges throughout the GTA. I believe that being taught at a younger age how to be healthy through parental guidance, uh, school groups, gym classes, team sports at a younger age helps benefit you in your older ages or even throughout uh, your college or university careers. 